Gray? Let me get a Gray, baby! You are watching a master at work. Shine this video, baby! I need you to shine this video, baby! Shot the Miss Mac Faye on here. Shot the Asia Parks on here. Shot the Travis on here. Shot the Ray Perry on here. Shot the Roughest Remodeling on here. Shot the Chaz Fudge. Shot the my dog, King B, baby. It's going down tonight, baby. Right. I came on here to check your fate. I came on here to check your hope. I came on here to check your resilience, baby. I know what you're going through. I can feel what you're going through, but what you're going through ain't in the mouths of the mist of what you're going through, baby, because God got to test you before he bless you, baby. I too, he finna bless you, baby, but he got to test you first, baby. Girl! And right now, you're going through so much trials and tribulations. Right now, life going swinging punches at you. Right now, you're going through things that you've never been through. And you're trying to find out where it's coming from. It's coming from God, baby. Because oh. God trying to push you into a creative mode. God trying to suck that creativity out of you so you can reach your God like ability, baby. I need somebody to hit that light button right there where you're at, baby. Girl! Miss McFay, where you at, baby? Say something else, nigga. I need to know who on here, baby. Somebody shine this video, baby. It's going down tonight, baby. Gray, let me get a great baby. Gray. Let me get a great baby. Let me tell you something. When you going through your most hardest pressure, when life throwing bullets at you, when life throwing bad news at you, when life just throwing unexpected events and unforeseen events at you that nobody going through. You understand me? See you going through. I want you to understand something. That is usually when your mind is at its sharpest. Your mind is at its sharpest when you under the most pressure. You like a quarterback trying to dodge from getting sacked right now. Girl. The bills coming through at you. Them kids coming through at you. Your wife coming at you. Your husband coming at you. But your mind is usually at its sharpest when you're under the most pressure. Let me tell you something, baby. God is checking your faith. You understand me? God is checking your hope. God is checking your resilience. He's trying to see if you're brilliant and resilient. He's trying to show you what you got in you, baby. Girl! It seems like when the world send the most intense pressure at you, you understand me, that you ain't even know what you finna go through. That's when you forced to think outside the box like a Rubik's Cube, baby. Your mind start to develop ideas in a hurry, hurry. And that's why people that have no skill and no talent turn back to the streets. Because they ain't made of the stuff that you made for, baby. Who raised you? Listen, Queen BB, they ain't made for the shit that you made for, baby. Maria Owens, they not made for what you made for. Asia Paul, they can't go through what you done went through, baby. Ray Perry, they can't deal with that rough and remodeling the shit that your business done went through. People would have been done gave up. LaVonda raining. They would have been quitting on you, baby. They ain't built like you. You ride here going through things that you never been through, but you handle it with so much prestige. You prestige under pressure, baby. Your mind is sharp under pressure, baby. You're so strong. You got in, you got some kind of strength in you that they can't even see in the physical form, baby. You're back by God. Girl! Somebody hit that like button right now if you know you're back by God, baby. Somebody hit that like button right now. You know when you get up under pressure. You understand me? You can't take no more. That's when your mind start thinking of things at a rapid pace. Your mind start coming up with that you never thought you would think of, baby. Let me tell you something. Who raised you? It's some people out here that can't deal with the stuff you're dealing with. And that's why they turn it back to the streets. Uh -uh. 
It's some niggas out here that's selling drugs, but selling drugs is not a talent. It's some niggas out here that look like they getting rich and they coming up off that scamming shit, but scamming is not a skill. It's some women out here that might not look as good as you, but they making more money than you because they selling their body, but prostitution of your body do not make you an entrepreneur, baby. Who raised you? But that's why these people that's going through the most intense pressure that's in them streets, you understand me, turn into desperate measures when times get hard. They get down, baby, trying to come up. Somebody hit that like button right now. If just in 2019, you were seeing people blowing money, getting the PPP money, and out of nowhere, now they money looking funny and they don't know what to do. They asking you for some money. Somebody hit that like button if you know somebody out there like that right now, baby. Yeah. Somebody hit that like button right now if you seen somebody Riding in Dayton's, riding on them Dayton's, baby, the twenty thousand dollar Dayton's, and then out of nowhere, you understand me? Time got hard, and God shut their operation down, and they got real frustrated, baby. Right. Somebody hit that like button right now. You seen somebody ride off the car, the car dealership, car lot with a brand new paper tag. And out of nowhere, God done took that money from them, and they come and they hide the paper tag in the backyard of their auntie house. Let me tell you something. When God shut their operation down, and they ain't got resilience, and they ain't got the type of brilliance you got. They ain't got that goddamn creativity. They ain't got that innovation, that innovative mind that you got, baby. They get real frustrated. And they hit that goddamn panic button, baby. Because when things get uncomfortable, they gonna panic. They gonna turn savage. Men gonna turn domestic and start abusing they woman. You understand me? They gonna start yelling at these women, beating on these women. Because they don't know what to tell them in them children. How they gonna feed them. They don't even know what to do, baby. If you know somebody going through that right now, tough time right now, and you feel sorry for them, you got empathy for them, but you ain't got no sympathy for them. Because when they was on top, when they were goddamn getting money, they were acting like they were goddamn the biggest shit on earth, and out of nowhere, they don't fell off. They don't feel like shit in the toilet, baby. Who raised you? Because God done shut their operation down and showed them just what they made up, baby. Let me get a great baby. Ray Perry, I'll see you on here. I'll see you down, baby. Miss McFay, I'll see you, baby. You are watching a master at work. Treese, I'll see you, baby. Shout out to Treese on here. What's up with you, baby? Let me tell you something. In a situation where a man that will get money illegally or scamming or robbing or stealing, listen, what you got to understand that when these niggas go broke, when they run down to the ground and get flat, what you got to understand is they turn real abusive to their woman, mentally abusive, physically abusive, and emotionally abusive. The closest thing to them, they start hurting them. By the way they talking to them. Cause they don't know how to deal with that shit. And then these women out here in these streets that were getting money with the big person and all that. And now they can't sit in something the five, the five star restaurant and film what they eating like that. Filming the grapes and all that. That's why they get real cranky. They get real cranky cause they starting to get emotional. See what you gotta understand is everybody attitude is real moody and real angry when they running up out of money, baby. Cause what you gotta understand is when you get got them some real money, when you starting to get real money and you start to go on real broke, baby, it's hard to stay in a happy place. It's hard to stay in a happy place when everything around you is being taken back from you, towed down right in front of you. And you can't do nothing about it, baby. It's hard. See, it ain't hard when you're broke, baby. If you always been broke, you don't care nothing about that. Because you know how to live like that. See, it's a broke man, you understand me, out there right now that don't even care about being broke. All he care is about living that natural ice life. All he want is a natural ice and a Budweiser. And he cool for the day, baby. So a broke man that ain't never had nothing is unbothered. You can't tell him to be broke. But a rich man that always had everything, always ate whatever he wanted and did whatever he wanted, he gonna panic 
when God take them privileges. He gonna panic when that lifestyle is eliminated and tested. He gonna panic, baby, and get frustrated when he can't do the things that he normally could do with ease, baby. It's hard when you've been living in a big house for about five years and now you got to go back to a studio or apartment. It's hard when you've been driving a Benz or a Lexus or something like that or a Tesla or something like that. And now you got to catch the bus because your car just got repossessed. It's hard, baby. It's hard when you've been eating out at five-star restaurants every other night and now you forced to eat ramen noodle soups and can of Chef R.D. spaghetti, hot pockets and hot dogs and baked beans just to survive, baby. It's going to drive you wild because it's hard. It's hard. You thought you would never go broke. You don't shit on the people that were down with you when you were down, baby. You done cut people off because you thought you would never need them no more. You done walked away from situations, dog, that was guaranteed for this little PPP. <laughs> now that bag getting slow. Now the lack of money forcing you to downgrade. Now you panicking, but where's your hope? Where's your resilience? Where's your faith? Somebody hit that like button right now if you got faith. Somebody hit that like button right now if you got hope. Somebody hit that like button right now if you're resilient and you know God got one more million in there for you, baby. Somebody hit that like button right now if you've seen people that seem so strong and then when God took that shit because it ain't last long, now they on the phone calling you trying to beg, borrow, and take from your family, baby, and you ain't got no love for them. Hit that like button right now if you see it happening right now because this is the worst economy that you ever seen in your life, baby. Because we finna go from recession to depression. I'm telling you right now, and you got to be smart. When you see these white men catching the cold, you got to understand that the black man is catching the flu. The black man is forced to downgrade and the white man too. We getting to a point where the bag getting slow and you're forced to cut down expenses and let things go. You got to let go of that stuff you don't need. You got to let go of that stuff you don't, you understand me? You got to overrule those wants. And start focusing on what the things you need, baby. You don't need that. Because you buying stuff to impress people that you don't like with the money you don't got with the things you don't need, baby. You got to let that go. You got to let that go. And see, when that bag get low, man, and you go to cutting back, cutting down, and you don't know how to deal with that, man, it get hard. And see, at first... When it first happened with a rich man, he tried to hide it from his wife. He tried to hide it from his wife because he trying to figure out if it's going to come back up the way that bag going to come back up the way it was coming. He trying to hide it, but then when your plug get knocked, you understand me, and the feds pick up your partner that you used to scam with, it really hit you. Like, damn, this shit going to be a while, dog. And I don't know how long this going to be. And this affect women in the streets too. Don't think it just affecting you, little buddy. Don't just think it affect cause it ain't just affecting you. It's getting the women too, baby. But you gotta understand if these niggas that's in the street ain't throwing no money in the club, the strippers get the feeling it too. Who raised you? And they going to a phase where they got to travel to different states looking for the bag because the bag used to come to them. Now they going to different places. They out here, I uh, got down Houston with the tycoon with 50 cent, hoping he throw 50 cent at their ass. Two quarter water, baby. Now they got to travel to different states looking for the bag, only to realize that everybody everywhere is going through the same thing. We all fucked up. And we all in this together, baby. Girl, girl, girl. And all these niggas in the street flat, baby. They all broke. So it don't matter where you go. Now you got to compromise. So now it forces the women in the street to go sleep with the men. That's their granddaddy age just to keep their kids fed and a roof over their head, baby. Because no matter how broke the streets get, Big Daddy and Uncle Sam going to always get their SSI check and their retirement check every 1st and 15th of the month. So Big Booty Bone Quish is going to bend it over and got them that much room tip. Because Granddaddy ain't got no goddamn hesitation with cutting that check. So she going to do it with no hesitation. She ain't procrastinate no Granddaddy much room tip. 
She don't care if it take them out of here. She just want that check, baby. She just want that check. That's why granddaddy got a, go on your granddaddy goddamn, uh, 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 cabinet right now and look at his goddamn cabinet. He ain't got no medication for blood pressure and all that. He got Cialis and Niagara's in there. Cause Big Booty Bonquisha done started back coming around. And he got to keep him a little energy for Big Booty Bonquisha cause hard times done fell on Big Booty Bonquisha but he enjoyed the enjoyment, baby. He enjoyed the enjoyment so he, boop, popping up Niagara, baby, Great. Oh, he popping them goddamn Niagara's. He popping that Cialis, baby. And Big Booty Bob Quisha ended up playing the game, baby. Listening to Marvin Gaye with your granddaddy trying to get his SSI check, baby. Because what you got to understand is hard out here right now. The streets done fell on hard time. These niggas is flat, bro. These niggas ain't got no money. If you pay attention, the crime rate done went sky high. These niggas robbing, killing. These niggas murdering. These niggas running in banks. These niggas doing crash dummy courses to get that motherfucking money up. Because the thing is, right, when you get that free money, you develop a lifestyle. And that lifestyle feels so good to you. And it feel like it'll never leave you, baby. All you gotta do is keep the money coming in. But at a certain point, God will stop your operation. But you don't want it to stop. So you pick up that Glock. And you don't care about no cops. And you go up in them banks. And you think you gonna get away, baby, until they hit that little button on your ass, baby. Let me tell you something. It's all out here, dog. You gotta understand, dog. Craig ain't selling no smoke right now because the streets ain't got no money. It was a time where smoke, you understand me, was selling. Now they put that fat in the in the smoke. They put that fat now in the smoke. Now you gotta watch that. You gotta watch that. The streets ain't got no money, so they turn the death grip measures, the stuff that you ain't pulled, the little plant, the smoke, the herb. They messing with the herb, not putting that white stuff in. You gotta watch that. And then you got bam, bam, he can't scam, scam, cause the feds on his bumper. The feds got tabs on these iPhones now. Now you put your location somewhere, talking about you somewhere, they put your exact location just to know your destination when they gotta come pick your ass up. They know exactly where you at, dog. And Big Booty Bomb Quisha, Moist, and Big Head Red, them all at the strip club struggling just to make their tip out back. Everybody going through Girl! The waitress selling coochie, the, the, the bartender selling coochie from behind the bar, the dough girl selling coochie, everybody got something on sale, baby. And Craig done turned into robber, Bam Bam done turned into booster from scammer, and Bum Quisha done went from stripping to prostitution. Drastic times turned to drastic measures. Being dead broke will wake up the evil that's in you, baby. It's the love of money that'll make you do the unthinkable. And that's why God said you can't serve me and money. You can't serve God and money, baby. Some got to fold. And see, you got to understand, man. People are being tested right now. People are being tested. And that test is supposed to make you find another way. But when you ain't got no other way, that test start to reveal the true strength and ability to turn your setback into a comeback. But some of these people set themselves back further. If you pay attention to these rappers, if you go online and look, most of the rappers took PPP loan. But yet these niggas talking about they making twenty and thirty thousand dollars a night to get booked at a club, but you ain't got no money. See them 360 deals, you understand me? Them slavery deals that they signed got their ass locked. And now they trying to get that PPP money and they thought that was free money. And now it turned into bail money and lawyer money, man. But see these little setbacks and these little tests that God putting you under right now, it's supposed to reveal your truth in a course, stretch your mental capacity and let you understand that, hey, look, man, I'm putting you through a setback, but that comeback gonna be something else, baby. See, that setback is supposed to reveal how good of a hustler you is, baby. Your struggles supposed to produce strength, but some of these niggas still struggling because they can't find the strength because they think they can sell dope forever. You can't sell dope forever, baby. Ain't nobody ever made it out of trap. 
Ain't nobody ever made it out the script club, baby. You go from dancer to waitress to bartender to dope girl to house mom to out there on the street on Bissonnette, 79th Street, or wherever y'all host scrolls here, that's where you're going at. That's your future. That's your college. That's your graduation point. You go from trap nigga to brick man to motherfucking jailbird. Ain't no, ain't nobody getting up out these street, dog. From Big Meech to whoever, it ain't never happened, dog. And you gotta see the setback while you in the game getting the money. Cause if all you know is street money and you never transition your street skills to corporate to make you some legal money, you gonna be lost in the sauce. You gonna drown in the pile. You gonna drown in the pond. You gonna fall off real quick cause you ain't developed no skill. Especially when you think that street money gonna last forever. Especially when you had so many opportunities to invest in the way out your situation when that money was good. Everybody telling you to put the money up. Yeah, bro, back me, bro. Let's do a movie. Let's open up a restaurant. Let's open up us a tow truck company. Let's do this. Let's do that. You had so many opportunities to get out the, the goddamn game when the money was good, but you thought the money was going to last forever, and that's how you went broke, because you ain't see the crash coming. Girl! You thought that PPP was never going to run out, baby, but then it took off and ran from you. Because one thing about life, life don't come with no warning signs, baby. Life is slow, but life don't care about none of us, baby. Life don't care about no time, don't wait on nobody, time don't sit back and wait, time gonna keep going on baby and it reveal your true strength and your true sense. And you gotta have a sixth sense up here. You gotta have that 2020 vision to understand your mission. You can't say, it's okay to start off in that game slanging or doing whatever you're doing on them computers to get that money, but at a certain point baby, you gotta transition from that. You got to buy yourself an exit, though. You got to learn how to think big. You can't be getting caught in the moment out here trying to throw money on Big Booty Bomb Quisha and Boyz them. Because in the moment, things could shift from better to worse, baby. Somebody hit that like button right now, baby. If you understand what I'm saying, this man face. Hit that like button. King B, hit that like button. Brandon the Mad on here. Hit that like button. Ruffers remodeling on here. Hit that like button. I see you, baby. John, take what's up with you. I see all the real ones. Shot the Uncle Playing Gang, Uncle Mike on here. I see all the real ones, baby. Shot the Travis on here. Hit that like button right now, baby. Come tell you right now, because in a moment, things could shift from better to worse. And you got to think far down the line, baby. You got to see far down the road. You got to hit your high beams, baby. You can't worry about the little, the little light that they got on the thing. You got to hit them high beams and see far down the line, baby. Because every beginning comes with an ending, baby. Somebody hit that like button right now. Great! Let me get a great baby. Oh Lord! Oh, Lord. 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 Let me tell you something. Anybody that had money could tell you they thought it was gonna last forever. Anybody that got everybody get a chance to get some real money. But at a certain point, you gotta see far down the line. While everybody running through they bag, dog, you gotta still hide your bag, dog. While everybody pawning shit, selling shit, got for sale signs there, well, you gotta still hide your bag, baby. You gotta be wise. See, I'm gonna tell you something. God will bless you. And then when he see you mishandling your blessings and treating people bad because you done got blessed and you ain't blessing others, he gonna punish you. And he gonna take it from you. And then he going to test you just to see how you're going to get it back. He going to see if you're resilient. Think about this, right? He tested Job. You think you better than Job? You think you bigger than Moses, David, Solomon, Samson? You think you bigger and better than them? You think you smarter than them? Let me tell you something. Nobody better than nobody, baby. He tested Job, and once Job passed that goddamn test, he was given double for his troubles. This test ain't got nothing to do with what you wearing on you, because it got to be in you and not on you. I don't care about how much 
value you got around you. You can have big houses. You can have big cars. You can have the baddest, beautiful woman. You can have a strong husband, baby. That ain't got nothing to do with the test that God got for you. This test is to show you what's inside you, what you made of, baby. And do that fire that you got burn brighter than the fire around you. Do that fire inside you burn brighter than that fire around you. God is checking for your wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Do you have the wisdom to see what God is trying to show you during this difficult, hard time? Miss McFaith, do you got the wisdom? King B, do you got the wisdom? Ray Perry, do you got the wisdom? I need to know, B.I.G., what's up with your 187? Do you got the wisdom to see what God is trying to show you during this difficult, hard time? Do you got the knowledge to rebuild from scratch what God done broke down just like that in the snap of a finger, baby? Girl! Girl. Do you understand why God is giving you and he going to take it away? Do you understand that once you can answer these questions with resilience, purpose, and accountability, God going to end his wrath on you. And to the end, he ain't going to show you no mercy, baby. He coming full force and you better be ready. I need somebody to hit that like button if you're ready. I need somebody to type 11, 11 in the comments right now if you're going through it. I need somebody to type 11, 11 in the comments right now if you're resilient, brilliant, and you're amazing. And you ain't finna let nobody, you understand me, stop your blessings, baby. Uh -huh. You go get it back. You ain't no hustling until you can lose it and get it back, baby. But God will take it just like that. God will give it to you over time and take it just like that, baby. Hit that like button right now. Maria Owens on here. Hit that like button right now. Treese, hit that like button right now, baby. Ray Perry, hit that like button right now. Ruffin Ramon, hit that like Levada, hit that like button, baby. Let me know you're ready. Girl, 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 girl. See, because I'm going to tell you something. It's some people that every everything you go through, they watching how you respond to it. Everybody watching how you're going to respond to it. Especially if you be out here showing your money, showing how many cars you got, showing what you be doing like they watching you. I want you to understand something. When God starts taking from you, that's when they watch you the most. Not when they give, not when you getting blessed, not when they hating on you. But when God start blessing you and giving you things you never had before, listen, when he take it from you, that's when all the hours, that's when people start talking and gossiping. That's when you find out a lot. You will never know who your friends is till you start losing shit. Everything you go through in life will cause people to watch your response. People that can't stand you is watching you, hoping you fail. People that believe in you is watching you, hoping you pull through. And people that watch you go through difficult at first time, they watching you because they want to see just how you come about that situation and they timing you to see how long you go through it, baby. Nigga, when my name come up, respect. They want to know how you going to do it this time, baby. They watching you and see when you pass this test, this test going to give you credibility. This ain't nothing but a test. God is testing you before he bless you. He finna bless you bigger than he ever did before. But he testing you. He testing your hope. He testing your faith. He testing your resilience. He testing you because you're brilliant, baby. You creative, baby. Yeah. You creative. You innovative, baby. He testing you before he bless you. And see, when you pass this test, it's going to give you a certain kind of credibility that money can't buy. You're going to become the survival guide on how to make it through tough times. You're going to become the survival guide on how to make it through tough circumstances. And people are going to start bragging on you about how you made hard times look easy. Girl. Somebody hit that like button right now. Type 11, 11 in the comments right now. If you went through something, people start bragging on you about how you made that hard time, that hard divorce, that loss of that job, that loss of that house, that loss of that car. You made it look easy. You got it back bigger. You would have got somebody better. You would have got a better job. Somebody hit that like button right now. If you ever went through that, I need to know, baby. Yeah. Somebody type 11, 11 right now in the comments if you see people bragging on you who used to hate on you. See, I'm going to tell you something. 
So many people fold when they go through something that hit harder than them. So many people fold when they go through stuff that's harder than them, built stronger than them, and they don't know no way out. They got to use their mind to get a way out. They ain't got nothing to do with your muscles or your money or your, your, your well-being around you. This got something to do with the inside of you. They fold, baby. So many people give up when they ain't got the mental capacity to understand what's going on and why it's happening to them. So many people fold, baby. So many people give up. So many people quit. But what you got to understand is this. The same boiling water that hardened an egg softened a potato. The same ice that appear to be so solid melts when you put a little fire on it. The same pressure that bust pipes create diamonds. And you got to ask yourself a question. Are you a diamond in the rough or are you a cubic zirconia, baby? Are you built for a tough, baby? Or you just look big and strong and you're weak on the inside, baby? Will you shine when God start to rough and buff you up, baby? See, you got, girl, girl, girl. You got to realize something, right? You against all odds. Everybody counting on you to fail. Everybody counting on you to burn in hell when you're going through hell, baby. They don't know you finna come up like the Terminator. They don't know you finna come up, baby, like Steph Curry in a game seven. They don't know you finna come up and win like Michael Jordan in a game six, baby. You against all odds, but do you like your chances? Would you bet on yourself against the balance and the struggles like putting up against you? So many struggles you're going through. So many people you're losing. Would you bet on yourself in front of everybody else? It's so many fake friends you got. It's so many fake family members you got. It's so many random people that you got on you that's praying on your failure, baby. They doubting your potential to make it through. They don't think that you could do the unthinkable. Will you pull it out? Do you like your chances, baby? Because in the end, these non-believers will believe in you. So many people watching you just hoping you fall off, give up, and quit. But when you supersede their expectations, they're going to honor you, baby. They're going to honor you forever. Let me tell you something. It's somebody on here right now that have lost so much money over time in a big project. It's somebody on here right now that done went through so many different things, man, where they started off in one business, investing in one business, and they went to something else and flourished, but they lost all kind of money in the first business, and they ain't never got it back, but they came back and came up stronger than that, baby. God will test you before he bless you. And see, in life, you learn the lesson after the test. But in school, they teach you the lesson. They test you on what you've been taught, baby. Life don't come with nothing but tests. And you learn from the test you go through. And you got to go through it to get to it. Somebody type 1111 in the comments right now. If you're going through it right now. Well, God done took somebody from you. God just took my grandma from me, y'all. My grandma was like my mama. My grandma raised me. My grandma gave me a couch to sleep on. My grandma was there for me. I love my grandma. She and all my documentaries that I ever did on the come up. She was one of the only people and the few people that believed me. It was never believed in me. It was never about no money with my grandma, man. It was about pure love, appreciation, acceptance. And I just lost my grandma at the age of 80 years old. And I got to ask myself, baby, at this point in my life, do I got time to play? Life. Don't care about nothing. Life don't care about you, baby. Life will test you, twist you, and turn you. Life don't care about how much time you need. That clock on the wall, do not go back, baby. You got to live for you. You got to live every day. You got to stop playing with life, baby. Let me tell you something. You got to be resilient. You got to have hope in the times of adversity. You got to stop that pessimist mindset you got when you think so negative. Ray Perry, I see you on here, baby. King B, thank you so much. I appreciate the love, dog. But you got to have resilience, Chad Ford. Every time I talked to Chad Ford the other day through text, man, he was like, man, I lost one job and I got hired on another one within seconds and they paid more. Man, that's a blessing. 
God will test you before he bless you just to see what you going to do. Are you ready? Somebody type ready in the comments if you're ready for your blessing, baby. God will take you through things, baby. And you got to have you a plan B. You got to have you an exit strategy in case all fails in the elevator break down and you're stuck in the elevator, baby. You got to have you an exit strategy if you got to take the stairs and it's burning up there. You got to have you an exit strategy because life don't give you no warning signs. It just happened. Life will happen to you, baby. You will go to lose in the stuff you never thought you would lose. You will go to lose in people that you never thought you would lose. And I'm going to tell you something about life is so funny, right? All these dancers and scrippers, I love y'all, y'all beautiful, but what you got to understand is you'll get caught up in that life making that fast money, man, and them years will pile up on your head where they go fast. And see, when you're having fun, life go faster like a roller coaster, right? And then you wind up 10, 15 years down the road and you don't look like that no more. And all you had was fast money and you done ran through the bag with this dummy blowing money on him because you're paying for your man because he ain't got no money. He got to listen to you. So you buying that relationship. You buying your friends. You buying your bag. You buying the association of people, you're tipping the, the, the uh, DJ and the uh, security man at the door to make sure you're straight. All them years of tipping, all them years of taking care of people, all them years of buying them bags, them lashes, them wigs, and that surgery, them 20, 30 thousand you spent on surgery, baby. At a certain point, you get old. And you don't want to be old and fucked up. You don't want to be old and broke, baby. You got to invest in you a contingency plan. I advise anybody on here right now, if you do only fans, if you only got, you understand me, you dance or uh, uh, do anything to make money, man, put you some money up because rainy days do come. Them fast days at the club is going to be slow nights one day, baby. And you got to be able to sit tight. You got to be able to say, you know what, I don't want to work tonight. I'm going to spend time with a little junior in there. Because see, what you got to understand as a woman, if you turning your kid over to somebody to watch your kid, they going to have a closer bond with your child as you get older. Ask Kim Cartridge. The sinners got a better relationship with her daughters, you understand me, or her son or whatever she got, than she got because she always chasing the money. That bag is cool, baby, but quality time is everything. And when you making fast money out here in the streets, little dog, yeah, I know some niggas on here that follow me that be out here in these streets making money. When you scamming and doing all that stuff you doing, dog, make sure that you keep your contingency plan. Like, you know what, man, I done got all I could get, dog. I done been all I could be. I'm finna open up me a barber shop. I'm finna open up me an income tax company. I'm finna do credit repair. I'm finna do something. I'm finna get up out this shit. I'm finna sell jewelry. I'm finna do something. Cause you can't do what you're doing forever and get away with it, baby. It come with a guy. You think these polices. You think these feds. You think the government don't know how to find everybody and anybody that got a phone. You got like fucked up. Cause they know that everybody on here wanna show off what they doing on their phone. Cause if you ain't showing off, you ain't doing nothing. People who think that you don't show your blessings think you lack the blessings in this era. And the feds love that. Because if you pay attention, why you ain't think, why you think they ain't got no undercover cops on the street? Remember the undercover police, the knocks, the, the jump out boys or whatever, Tuesday and Thursday? You don't see them no more because they own the internet, fool. They watching you. And they got access to everything. WhatsApp, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. They know everything you do. And y'all dummies on here showing what you do. You on here beefing with niggas on the internet. You on here showing how much money and what you into. Man, you're showing too much. And them feds just sit back like I got his ass. And I'm going to go get him. When I need him, I'm going to go get him because he going to snitch. Because he love women too much. He going to snitch because he love money too much. They know what you love and they know who's going to talk first. They knew 6 9 was going to tell on everybody. They knew that goddamn 6 9 was going to tell on everybody. They know who's going to talk by the lifestyle you show. If you used to money, if you used to women, if you used to things that you do, you ain't finna compromise that for another nigga. You finna tell to get back to your children. They know that. They know Nino cut a different way, so they ain't going to get him first, baby. But they going to go get little Craig and little Bam Bam to snitch on Nino, so they got to open the shut case. 
Pay attention because the feds is listening. And if the feds don't tell you that they watching you, why you so quick to tell how you get money? Why you so quick to tell how you being blessed? Why you so quick to talk about your next move and show your bank account? Why you so quick to show who you dating on the Instagram? Just to act like you got somebody. Man, you better act like you don't got nobody. And whatever you love, you better keep that off the internet, baby. Keep it to yourself. Everybody ain't got to know it ain't they got them business what you got, baby. Girl! The longer you keep it off the internet, the longer you gonna keep it. See, I come from an era where we weren't doing all that. When the real niggas weren't on it, it wasn't even no internet. It was my space and we weren't into that. I'm talking about before YouTube. I'm talking about before Facebook. I'm talking about before all this shit. I'm talking about the real good old days, man. Where a nigga dressed up in work clothes every day. We was in uniform every day. We weren't trying to get up and show what we stayed at and what we driving in. Y'all niggas be showing what you driving in. Y'all be showing where y'all be at. Y'all be taking pictures of restaurants where you be at every day. That's why y'all getting killed, fool. You got to learn how to be low key, baby. Don't show these niggas nothing. It ain't they goddamn business, baby. Get money, stack money, and stay the hell out the way. Don't tell nobody where you stay. Don't show nobody nothing. They can, they make them think you ain't got no car. Make them think nobody wants your broke ass. Make them think that you ain't got nothing. That's how you keep what you got, baby. You ain't got to show these niggas nothing. Let them niggas chase the Joneses and be like the Joneses. Whole time, little Junior in that straight, little Mama in that straight. That's all you worry about. See, real street niggas, you understand me? We trying to get out the streets. We trying to get the big house with the picket fence on the outskirts. We trying to get the dog outside. You understand me? We just trying to come home and go to sleep, man, in peace, man. But these young niggas that ain't never been no street niggas, they out here being all they could be. That's why you know these rap niggas ain't really real. Because if you pay attention, you see them going back to jail. Real street niggas, you get them one opportunity, they ain't never going to return back to the streets. Because street shit don't impress street niggas. Street shit don't impress street niggas. Street shit only impress people that ain't never been in the streets. Because they ain't never do that. That's why they say opposites attract. It's interesting to them. Because now they got the money to have a bunch of niggas around them. And they could do all the shit that they never could do. Because they never been rolled up. They came up out of good family. But they want to act like they got them Bam Bam and Sammy now. They want to act like they kill a Mike and kill a B and kill a this one. Nigga, you ain't no goddamn killer. You ain't no killer, dog. Because when you get up in there, you're talking too much. Real street nigga ain't telling nothing. Give me my time. I'm going to take this shit to trial, bro. That's what a real street nigga do. Y'all got to wake the fuck up. And y'all let the people trick y'all with that PPP money. And they got them unemployment money. And they got them loan money. And now they got y'all by the throat. They done got all that money back. And food, gas, and rent. Look how high rent done went up, dog. Look how high food done go up. Man, you got to go to the grocery store. You better have you 500 if you don't got no food stuff. To feed your family good. And y'all around here having all these goddamn kids. And y'all got to feed all these goddamn kids. Look how high gas is in California. $7, $6 a gallon, bro. And y'all want to talk about, oh, Trump and all these people. Trump told you from day one that was an investment. You could look up that interview. When they say, oh, you giving out billions of dollars in PPP, he said that's an investment. This is what he meant by it. the inflation. The, 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 the panic attacks everybody going through where they feel like they under attack like that. Man, these people ain't playing with you, man. You better stack your goddamn money and act, bro. You better stay out the way, bro. You better create you a, a, a some type of seven screens of income. Y'all be around here depending on one job. Y'all be around here depending on one goddamn. Listen, this chair can still stand on goddamn three legs, but it can't stand on one leg like a table. You cut that one leg off the table, the table fall. Get you three, four legs, baby, so you can still sit and stand when it come down to the come down, baby. Because they showing you that they don't give up about us, baby. They showing you just how much they care about us, baby. And God testing you through the things that you're going through right now just to show you what you made of. You ain't strong. Look how COVID, look at all these companies that went out of business when, when that blown the first hit. Look at all these companies, and the only company still standing is Walmart, Amazon, Target, and, and stuff like that. Publix and stuff like that. 
Man, all the rest of these big companies and big playhouses and stuff like that, man, they done went out of business, man, because you know why? They never was firm as they look. They just look rich. They really weren't getting rich. Because when people woke up from that shit and realized, man, I want to go here. I don't need to go here, baby. When niggas start realizing, man, I want to go to the strip club and throw my money and have me some fun, but I don't need to go here, baby. I need to stay home and spend time with my family so they could eat. Niggas choosing between slinging that mushroom tip or eat some mushrooms. It's time to choose before you go or you gonna eat. You gonna or you gonna eat. Which one you gonna do, baby? These women out here choosing, I'm gonna get this wig done. I'm finna wear my natural ball here and have a roll my hair with rice. These women are made they mind up. These women making choices what? Either I'm gonna go in there and buy me a purse. And got them a, 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 a Birkin bag, or I'm finna go to Walmart, man, and, and save my five grand and put five grand in the little Walmart bag. Better take your way to Dee Dee's, Ross Marshall's, and Burlington Co. Factory and get the red light special. Y'all around right here trying to keep up with the Joneses, dog, and the Joneses broke. See, everybody in a competition where they trying to show who can hide their brokenness for the longest without getting showed up. I ain't in that race, baby. I'm quick to run into a Bolington Coat Factory or a Ross or a Marshalls or a Nordstrom Rack. I'm quick to do it like that, baby, because I'm smart. Because, see, you're going to need money for the rest of your life. And money ain't just going to last for one year. Money ain't supposed to last for just a season. You're going to need money every day of your life to eat, to get gas, and to keep a roof over your head, baby, and to take care of the kids that's coming up out your head. You're going to need some money, baby. So I advise you, shout to Yvette Newberry on here. What's up with you, Yvette? Shout to Kimberly Morgan on here. I advise you, baby, to hold on to your coin, baby. Hold on to your coin so you can keep the party going, baby. Hold on to your bag, baby. While everybody else running down there to get the new Louis Vuitton bag and the new goddamn shoes, hold on to them shoes you wearing a little bit longer because white people wear dirty shoes. White people don't do the stuff that niggas do. And we got to start thinking smarter, baby, because time's going to get harder. This going to be the worst Christmas that you ever seen in your life. Everything ain't going to get back. And it still ain't going to get back to normal round income tax time because now you're going into your credit cards and now you're in debt. Now you done ran down your, your, your cash advance loans and all that. You done ran out of favors. Now you're paying back your debt because they threatening to take your house and put a lien on your shit. Let me tell you something, man. Y'all got to watch out for these credit cards because if you can't spend the money on debit, you ain't got the money. Why would you pay for some on credit? Have your credit straight unless you want to buy a business or a house or something like that. But stop spending money on your credit card, dog. Spend debit. Because debit is pay now, enjoy now. Credit is enjoy now, but you're going to pay later with interest. Have your credit straight. Get your numbers together, baby, if you can afford it. But make sure that you invest in getting you some on-hand cash, baby, because cash is king. Credit is power when it comes to People could trust you with money, but cash is king. Get you some of money, baby. And I'm going to tell you something. A lot of y'all don't want to take a job right now. A lot of y'all got so much pride where you was getting money out the street. Let me tell you something. You rather work in there for, for $15 an hour or you rather work for $2 a day in the state penitentiary? You got to take that job for a season. Go take you a job, baby. Ask Chaz Fudge, he on here. Get you a job, baby. Get you some money till you get yourself back in order, baby. I'm going to take this job for a season. I'm going to work this job for a season. I'm not going to sit around and go broke and can't feed my kids no more because I'm trying to hold up pride and keep up with the Joneses and the Collins and them. They got their paper scraped. I'm going to take this job for a season. Stop holding on to pride. Stop holding on to goddamn, you right here trying to keep up with people, man. You right here care what everybody else think about you. Man, fuck them people. They ain't going to feed your family. They ain't going to take care of little Junior them in there. They don't care about little mama in there. Man, take that job for a season. Don't downgrade your stuff for a season. Give stuff away for a season. Let things go that you don't need for a season. Let the car go if you have to. Catch the bus for a season. Because six months of consistently grinding, six months of sacrificing, six months of determination, dedication, six months of persistence and consistency will change your life for the rest of your life, put you five, ten years ahead of everybody else, they'll be trying to catch up to you, Craig. Six months, do it for six months. 
Six months, baby. It takes 21 days to break a habit and 90 days to create a lifestyle. Do it for six months. Give yourself six months. I ain't going to the club. They ain't going to see me for six months. Right now, you're going through hard times. Do it for six months. Stack your money on spit a dollar out. Eat ham sandwiches for six months. Eat peanut butter and jelly for six months. Chef YD, six months. Hot dogs and baked beans, six months. Dollar ramen noodle soups for six months. Six months, baby. Put your five years ahead. And while you five years ahead, they'll be trying to catch up to you. And they ain't even nowhere near close, baby. Let me tell you something. God will test you before he bless you. I need everybody on here. If you know what I'm going through or you know what you're going through or you know that anybody that's going through it, I want you to put the 1111 in the comments because new beginnings is coming because we're going to do it for six months. I need somebody to comment 1111 right now in the comments if you know you can do it for six months. You know you can sacrifice a little bit of your life for six months. You know you can stay consistent for at least six months, baby. Because we're at the end of the year, baby. And it's crunch time. We only got a couple more months in this year. And it's crunch time, baby. Do it for six months. Round income tax time, income tax money should just be put up. You ain't touching that because you done did it for six months. Don't touch that money. Rainy days do come, baby. Make sure you put yourself up something. Make sure you restore your resilience. Make sure you show this power because you got a little junior, a little mama, a little son in there. You got a little daughter in there that's depending on you and watching you and you showing them, baby, this is what you're going to have to go through. And this gonna, this going to be the way you have to deal with that. Somebody hit that like button right now if you're going through it. Somebody hit that like button right now. Matter of fact, Ray Perry, anybody going through it, comment below what you're going through so I can say a prayer for you. Somebody on here comment below what you're going through, baby. Somebody comment below if you're strong right now to be alone. People done left you because they never thought you would come back up. They done counted you out. They done overlooked you, underappreciate you, and low-rated you, baby. With them same non-believers, them same dollars, they going to turn around in you and believe in you forever, baby. Hit that like button right now if you know they going to believe in you forever. Forever, forever, ever, forever, ever, baby. I want to thank everybody on here for watching. God bless y'all. I want to thank you for always supporting the movement. Shout out to everybody that donated. Shout out to everybody that super chatted. Shout out to everybody that always show love in the comments. Yvette Newberry, Ray Perry, Brandon the Meg, King B, Chance Fudd, Jonte Scott on here, Travis, LaVon Randy be showing love, me, me, Trees, VV. Who else be on here, man? Look, man, it's so many people, man. Jonathan, what's up with you? Uh, Rough is remodeling day one, real nigga. Shout out to everybody on here, baby. Shout out to Nina on here. Nina, what's up with you, baby? I appreciate you. Shout out to Paulette on here, baby. I see you, baby. Shout out to King Sam on here. What's up with you, Sam? Shout out to Will Burn. I see you in the comments. I see all the comments, man. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you shout this video baby god bless y'all for watching make sure you become a member of we the business make sure you go to mrproblemsolver.net that's m-r-p-r-o-b-l-e-m-s-o-l-v-e-r.net and become a member of we the business and it's like a little it's a way to show love and patronize to the movement man and we doing special things for our supporters and patreons thank you so much for watching make sure you go to we the business.com and get you a crown and pair of shades show some love get you a shirt man i appreciate everybody for watching make sure you subscribe to my channel right now hit that like and that subscribe make sure you comment below where you from make sure you subscribe to my daughter channel youtube.com slash brit brat b-r-i-t-t b-r-a-t-t Thank you so much for watching. You resilient, you got hope, and you brilliant. God going to test you before he bless you. But when he bless you, the blessings going to be overflowing, baby. Your cup finna run it over with blessings, baby. Trust what I'm saying. God bless y'all. Thank you so much for watching. I see everybody on here. I just want to be thankful tonight. I want to appreciate you tonight. I am dead, pulled out like an empty cup, baby. Thank you so much for watching. We the business. Guys, look, check this out. Thank you for watching my live video. I really appreciate you. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and also 
make sure you book a one-on-one -on -one mentoring session with Nino Brown. A mentor is a wise counsel. Somebody that done been through the things that you're going through, whether that's family problems, whether that's job problems, problems at your job, whether that's business problems, where you can't get your business off the ground, whether that's coming up with ideas to produce a new business. Whatever your problems is, I don't care. I can help you. I can counsel you. I can advise you the right way to go about it. I am an expert in these fields. I deal with kids. I deal with baby mama drama, baby daddy issues, whatever you're going through, I can help you get to where you're going to. Go to MrProblemSolver.net and sign up for my mentoring sessions. Book one a day. I will personally schedule you on my personal schedule and put you ahead of everybody else too. Day. Sign up now. We're going to email you back. We're going to get your contact info. I need everybody to do that now. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. YouTube.com slash Nino Brown 305. Thank you for watching. We'd have been